Hi friends. So today we are beginning our journey of MATLAB. Actually, I have installed a MATLAB version of 2070. You can install any version. Uh, actually, the installation and uh, or downloading video is actually available in the YouTube and you can find it and then you can install a MATLAB window and then when you click it, you can also create your MATLAB window with three partitions. First is of a current folder where all the folders generated by you can be seen. And then there is a command window where you can do programming. And then there is a workspace where all the variables assigned by you can be seen. So in order to begin with the programming, we have to first open our script file. Actually, then the editor window has been opened where we can start our programming. In order to get into the basics, first let us see how to get an array uh, printed in your command window. So in order to begin with that, actually we can give the name of the array as A, and then we need uh, 1 to 10 with a gap of 2 to be printed in the uh, array. So we can start from 1 to 10 with a gap of 2. So and then if you run, oh, it will ask to save the file. So in order to save, you can use any drive, D or C. There you can give any name you want. Actually, we can give example. In D disk, I'm going to save it. So then save. So it will ask you to change the folder because by default C folder will be opened here. So you can give the option to change folder and then you can see RRI has been printed from 1 to 10 with a gap of 2. And then again you need another array which is 3 times of this array. Then you can, you need not give again the whole thing to be multiplied by this array. You can just give 3 into A. And then if you run, you can get an array where all the uh, components of the array A is multiplied multiply by 3. And then to move with the next type of program, actually you can use CLC to clear the screen and clear all to clear all the variables. And when you run this, you can see, the, see that all the variables will be vanished. And then all the things in the command window will be vanished when we give the command CLC. And now we are going to see how to get a sine wave. In order to get a sine wave, first let us give, first let us initialize T. Let T be from zero to two pi. Pi is a function which has already been initialized in MATLAB window. So after giving t, then you can go for function sine of t. And let sine of t be equal to some variable. Actually, the sign is uh, have been already been uh, programmed in your MATLAB. So if you give the function sign, MATLAB will uh, already will understand what is that. And then in order to plot, give the plot function, plot a comma that is our way. I mean, plot t comma a. And then if you run, we'll see what will happen. Okay, you get your sign wave. Now, if you want uh, to have cos wave also along with the sine wave, please give the function hold on. And then initialize your variable with cos. And then you can give your plot function. Let us see what is the output. And if you click run, you, you can get your sine wave and cosine wave together. And now if you want to label your x-axis and y-axis, we will use the function x label. And then you can give y label for y-axis functions to be printed.
actually it should be single comma. And then you have, uh, if you want to give the title for the graph, you can even give the title by this function. That is title, let's give the fonts. So we have given the title also. And in order to uh, find the legend function, you can give legend. Now we'll see what will happen if we give legend. So if we give legend, that is sign. You can give two legends for two uh, waveforms. That is, you can only give uh, one legend as a function, but inside the break bracket, you can give uh, two options. That is sign and cosine. So now let's see. Okay, you have obtained a waveforms graph like sine, cosine, amplitude, time as uh, printed in your x-axis and y-axis. And then we have already obtained our waveform. So this is the basics of MATLAB uh, of plotting. And in further videos, we will be covering more programs